Hey, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to show you how to add a slideshow recording to your actual PowerPoint. So let me take this basic PowerPoint that I've already done, and um, just an abbreviated version, but let me show you. In the slideshow area, click on slideshow tab, and then you'll go down to record slideshow. And when you get on the slideshow tab, just go ahead and say check mark play narrations, use timing, show media controls. And then when you figure out if you want to start from the beginning or start from a certain slide, you're going to click on that. Now, when I click on record from beginning, it's going to put my own image in the bottom corner. And there I am. So you can see that going on. And you notice the screen totally changed on you. Very simple. It's just record, stop, and replay in the top left. Your picture's down at the bottom. However, you know if you don't want it there, you can always slide it up to some other part of the screen that's not so busy. So that's entirely up to you. And so just treat it like an image. You can probably resize it, make it larger, make it smaller, whatever you need to do. And um, so once you hit the record button, you're off to the races here. So just click on record in the top left, and it counts down for you as you can see. And then you can do all the same mouse clicks that you would normally do to go through your slideshow. So I'll just click to launch my show. And if I was actually, you know, presenting it, obviously I'd, I'd go into that narration as well. But I'm just going to go through and click for you and just show you how you can present your presentation more like in person than just simply uh, putting an audio file with it. Now, one key thing on this I've noticed is as you get to the um, end of that particular slide, pause yourself, pause your voice, pause your movements, and let it get to the next slide without much motion so that it won't blur your image or blur your voice. So as I get down to the last one here, I'll pause myself basically, and I'll wait for the next slide to come up. And then I'll continue talking and continue on through my slideshow. All right, just to give you an idea. So there's lots of little options on here, obviously, with the color and stuff, but uh, pretty simple. I really am glad they added that. It's in Office 16, and that tool is also available in Office 365. So have fun creating that. And just when you're done, you'll just hit stop, and then you can hit escape to go back to your regular PowerPoint. Now, where do you find it on your regular PowerPoint if you want to amend it or add some, tweak some things about your presentation? You can um, see it on, let me go back to slide one over on the slide sorter, and you will notice that it says video 11 here, it says video 11 down there with the trigger on there, and now I can go in there on the animation pane by the way, that, that is uh, animations and the animation pane is what I have active right now. And um, I can go up to um, that particular item, that particular video item there, and I can say, you know, launch it on the mouse click, which I would recommend doing. You don't want your video presentation starting without you, so put that on the click. And on this one, I would um, maybe it automatically does that anyway, and put that on the click as well. And then when um, I play it for my. Um, I'll stop. When I play it for, you know, maybe I submitted it online and they're going to play it online. And I'll just launch it here and see what Camtasia does with it. And let me just launch here. There we go. And then you can see that my picture's in the bottom corner. Like I said, you can move that way. You can do all the same mouse clicks that you would normally do to go through your slideshow. So I'll just click to launch my show. click for you and just show you how you can. Okay, so you get the idea of how this works. All right, well, thank you for your time, and we'll end it on that.